paella, roast beef, lasagna. Yeah, I want to eat all of these. Huh? Oh, my throat. I haven't been feeling too well, and I have a high fever. <coughs> Can't be helped, though, because I'm old, eh? <laughs> Trouble Busters! Your mother sure is late, Drake. Uh, Mom, where are you right now? I'm sorry, Drake, but my head hurts and I can't move. I'm worried about me. Please come back. Huh? Oh, okay. Understood, Mom. I'm so sorry, Helen, but Mom's... Huh, <laughs> this shit again. My name is Helen. I made a reservation at a French restaurant for my mother-in-law's birthday at her request. She really doesn't seem to celebrate her birthday properly every year, does she? It's really bad timing. Uh, I'll just go pay the cancellation fee. It's not the timing, Drake. Always the same conclusion. Mrs. Smith would always get sick at every special family occasion, and even after three years of marriage to her son, I've never been able to properly celebrate her birthday or anything else. At first I thought she really was ill and I was worried about her, but now I think she's completely faking it all. But who would have thought she would have to cancel her reservation at a French restaurant? Oh shit! I had a call from my boss. Uh, you head on inside, Helen. Mrs. Smith, how are you feeling? You come in wearing that! You really have to work on your time, place, and occasion, you know. I'm glad to see you're doing better. God damn it, you can afford to have the energy to say shitty sarcasm, piece of cake, eh? Mom, you okay? I'm sorry, darling, it just hurts so much. I'm sorry, Helen, dear. Even though she was being sarcastic just now, she acts all fragile and innocent now. How much was the cancellation fee? I have to withdraw some money. Don't worry about the money, Mom. You sit down. Mrs. Smith plays the good-natured mother-in-law in front of my husband. I didn't want to make my kind husband feel bad, so I kept quiet about his mother's dual nature. However, a year later, all of her wrongdoings done to me would be revealed to the public. I'm so sorry, I even ruined your wedding anniversary. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry. Let's celebrate your birthday at home this weekend, okay? If there's anything you'd like to eat on your birthday, please let me know. Your generosity will be enough, my dears. Thank you so much. Don't you hold back, Mom. Sorry, I want to dry my hair a little. What? Wait! Helen, dear? Yes, ma'am? Paella, roast beef, lasagna. Yeah, I want to eat all of these. Huh? Drake told me not to hold back, right? Uh, well, there are some delicious takeout restaurants at the mall downtown. My age is a big issue, Helen, and I don't like buying commercial food. I like your homemade cooking. B -b but Mrs. Smith, that's impossible. All of them are dishes I've never made before. Is that so? That's too bad. Then you don't have to host a birthday party for me. Oh no. Huh, I wish I had a wife who could cook better. Huh? If you valued my birthday, you should be able to do it. Disappointing. That's why I was against this marriage to begin with. Okay, Mrs. Smith, you win. Really? Well then. And of course, I'm also looking forward to the homemade cake. I gotta buy a good deal of ingredients on my way home from work. Whoa, shit! The paella turned out soggy, the roast beef turned into chewy rubber, and the lasagna turned out mushy. And the birthday cake was burnt and edible. What should I do? Help! Huh? <coughs> eh? Oh, my throat. I haven't been feeling too well, and I have a high fever. What? I'm sorry, my dear. <laughs> Can't be helped, though, because I'm old, eh? <laughs> Could it be that from the beginning you... Eh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Her plan was to make me cook things that took a lot of time and effort, and make waste of all that effort. I understand, then you won't be able to eat anything, I suppose. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm going to sleep. This is too far. This is the perfect opportunity. I'll show you how you can't do whatever you want. I wonder if she isn't here. Why are you here? And what about you, Mrs. Smith, up and about? That has nothing to do with you. The frick, what are you thinking? Barging into someone's house without permission. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind if I do. Get the hell home! I will not do that. I came here because I was worried. Uh? Mrs. Smith, you can't just do that. Why did you go outside when you had a high fever? What would happen if you fell over? I'm fine for a short while. There's no way you're fine after you flat out cancelled your birthday party. Again! Shut up! Mrs. Smith, have you always been prone to getting sick? You know what? Yes. I don't want you to call me Mrs. Smith. Could you seriously pull yourself the frick together? But how should I call you then? I remind you, I was totally against Drake marrying you in the first place. I don't want a complete stranger to celebrate my birthday. That's cruel. But wait, is that why you've been avoiding celebrations for so long? Yes, indeed. There's definitely someone out there better suited for Drake. I'm currently looking for another match. Another match? But I'm his wife. Hm. How about you get the hell home and prepare for divorce, hmm? I... Why? What is all this? You just stole my lines, Mom. What? 
Dear mother, you are turning 60 today, so I wanted to surprise you with a celebration. A surprise? Does that mean you set me up? I did not set you up, Mrs. Smith, but it's true. I totally forgot to inform Drake, Mr. Smith, and my own parents that today's event was cancelled. Andrea, what on earth did you mean by all that? But why? Why are you here, honey? What about Tennessee? Celebrating your 60th is something very special, Andrea. I pulled some strings at the office and I was able to come back in time. I thought that you would be so much happier if your husband was here too, so I contacted him. I was planning on making you happy with a surprise, but... Is that so? All things considered, though, do you even know what you're saying? For real, what's the deal with finding another match? I chose to treasure Helen all my life. I'm not interested in any other woman. That's what marriage is, right? I won't forgive you if you do anything stupid. N no honey, that's not it. I just happened to listen to a neighbor come up with an idea about matchmaking. So I thought it might be a good idea to give it a try is all. Give it a try? But there's no need to try that, so you should just decline. I mean, I knew Helen was here, and there's no way I'd seriously arrange a match meet and greet. No, sir. Break all the excuses you want, Mrs. Smith. We heard everything you said. I just got a little emotional. It's not like I really meant those things. It's too late already. Maybe you've been saying nasty things to Helen like this all along? No, I haven't. Right, Helen, darling? Drake, I'm fine with anything she throws honestly. If, if you don't properly deny it, I'll be in trouble. If you don't... Not like I'm a mother-in-law that abuses my daughter-in-law. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I also have a personality that does not tell lies. Oh, Helen. The hell you think you're doing? I was so convinced you and Helen were getting along just fine. When I was here, you were always having fun together, standing in the kitchen, drinking some wine and chatting away. It's not just you, Dad. Even I, who was watching them pretty close up, was happy that they had become good friends. I didn't say anything because I thought it would improve. If I'd known it wasn't going to change, I would have talked to you from the beginning. I should have either way. I'm sorry, Drake. You! It's not for you to apologize, Helen, dear. Mom, could it be that you've been pretending to be sick like this? This whole damn time? This whole time? You mean something like this has happened before? What do you mean, Drake, son? Since I got married to Helen, sir, I've never properly celebrated our anniversary or any of our birthdays. Now that I think about it, it was always because of my mother's poor health. Isn't that a bit of an exaggeration? It's not good to blame me for everything. It's not an exaggeration or anything, ma'am. Isn't that the case for this time, too? If you hadn't told me you weren't feeling well, none of this would have happened. Explain yourself, Andrea. Well, it's not like I'm faking an illness, honey. I'm truly feeling unwell. If you were, where the hell were you this whole time? We were and hid for two hours. I, I was at the hospital, honey. It was so crowded and I couldn't get back home very easily. I'm sure the hospitals around here aren't open on Saturdays, though. But, but, but that's... There's always a doctor on duty. You don't know anything! So I'd appreciate it if you stop freaking meddling! <coughs> uh, that's enough, right? I'm not feeling well. I'm going to go sleep. Helen, I'm so sorry that I didn't notice until now. Mr. Thompson, Mrs. Thompson, I failed to take care of your daughter because of my incompetence. I'm so sorry. If I had come home earlier and paid more careful attention to what was going on, none of this might have happened. I'm so sorry. No, please, both of you, please rise. I agree, gentlemen. Neither of you are at fault here, truly. In front of you two, Mrs. Smith was very concerned about me, so it's no wonder neither of you noticed anything amiss. And I thought I would endure it because I didn't want you two to worry. I only wish you'd have told us, darling. I think just letting it out would have helped you. But then you would have been worried about me, right? I'm usually so happy, so I thought if I just put up with it, everything would be fine. Oh, Helen. Uh, Mom? I'm just a little thirsty. I came to get a glass of water. Mrs. Smith, how are you feeling? Did you take your temperature? Huh? Oh, yes. It seems like the medicine I got at the hospital is working well. That's good to hear. Seems like my fever's gone down too. Could I maybe join you? Yeah, that's way over the line, Mom. If you still think you're sick, go back to sleep. Won't do much good to us if you spread your cold. It's all right, Drake. But Mrs. Smith, these are all from the mall, you see. It's a pity that I won't be able to see you enjoy the party to your heart's content. Huh? You said so on the phone, didn't you? I don't like buying commercial food. If you don't make something homemade, you don't have to host a birthday party for me. You're thinking about your age and refraining from eating food that uses additives, I suppose. Hey, Mom, did you really say that? N not my fault. You said I need not hold back, so I didn't. Then what was that McDonald's double cheeseburger you were wolfing down just the other day? Just because it was your birthday, suddenly saying that any supermarket food was unacceptable is just insane. Straight up abuse, I say. 
I'll have you know there are many recipes on the internet these days. Anyone can make anything by looking at these recipes, you know. I just wish people wouldn't say terrible things like abuse. That may be true, but why do you insist we do things that take such a lot of effort? Even demanding the cake be homemade. It's fine though, isn't it? Even Helen agreed to it. That's right, Drake. Seriously, it's okay. I said I'd make it too, so don't worry about me. But you had so much to do. It must have been tough, right? Isn't that why you bought all this instead? Can't be helped here, so I'll allow supermarket food. I can't possibly waste all the kindness I've received here. What's with that language? Mr. Smith, please. Ahem. Ah, it seems like you're feeling better, Mrs. Smith. So if I may ask something... Eh? Uh? It seems that you do not recognize our daughter as your son's wife. Did she do something that bothered you? I never said... I didn't recognize her as... But you said earlier that you didn't approve of her marrying Drake. Everyone here was listening to everything. No, that was... Well, you see... Speak up! This has something to do with our future as a family, you know? Huh. It's just that Drake originally had a fiancé and I just wanted him to marry her. Huh? It's not like you did anything to him or to me. Is that true, Drake? No, I've never heard anything like that. I've never heard of such nonsense either. Mom, stop trying to settle the situation by lying like that. I you two just don't remember, but believe me, you really did have. Tell me there wasn't a girl you made a promise to when you were in elementary school. What the, the hell are you talking about? Enough bullshit! You always intended to cancel birthdays and anniversaries by getting sick, haven't you? Wasn't done on purpose, no ma'am. It truly was just a terrible coincidence in timing. But to this extent, it's not just your own birthday. Our wedding anniversary, Helen's birthday. We we're always preparing to celebrate, but then you call us, needing us there, because you feel under the weather. How cruel, son. There's evidence to say something like that, and yet... There is evidence, Mrs. Smith. What? what? Enough bullshit! I mean, there really is, though, but... Huh? What is it, dear? Helen, show us, dear, please. Oh, fine. This is Mrs. Smith standing in line in front of the local casino first thing in the morning. That's fine, isn't it? Drake and I had given up on celebrating our wedding anniversary and rushed to you because you called and said your leg was hurting and you couldn't move. I find it impossible to find you waiting in line first thing in the morning without going to the hospital. And even though you stated you had a sprain, you seemed quite sprightly. It just didn't hurt at the time. It's a common story that pain will be gone the very next morning, right? But that's always the case, isn't it? You exaggerate the pain, but you've never been to any hospital, have you? The person who knows best about one's own health is the self. <laughs> Let me ask you directly then. Do you want to harass me that much? How about you answer that question, eh? Uh, shut up! Shut the hell up! Mom! I couldn't give any less of a damn about any wedding anniversary with such a wife whom I don't even acknowledge. I don't want you to celebrate my birthday either. There's definitely someone better for Drake. So that's what you've always thought, eh? You damn bitch. Are you seriously putting your own feelings before your son's happiness? You have no idea. Always on business trips and never at home. Drake is my only son, my precious, precious son. I'm the one who knows that girl best. I really don't need any other pricks interfering with my business. You don't understand anything. You better not frickin' disturb us for that reason only. I can't believe you refuse to be grateful to a daughter-in-law whom you treat so badly without us knowing anything, but who was still kind enough to host a birthday party for you like this. You have no say in this, Mr. Nomad Workaholic. Your husband not being home is no excuse for this, Andrea. What in the- Oh my word. What is the meaning of this? This certainly looks like we're holding hands, but we're complete strangers. I have no clue who that is. You assume the worst and take a photo like this. And here are some more photographs, Andrea. So, there's really nothing wrong going on, eh? I mean, obviously! You mean to tell me you don't believe what I'm saying, even though we've been together for many years? Show me your phone, then. What? Hurry up! You damn whore! What the hell are you doing with such a young man? It's just a little bit of an impulse. Is this what a mama's boy is? Like, getting paid liquid cash for dates and... That's right. Anything wrong? It's not like I'm seriously in love, you know. It's totally fine, I say. There's no damn way it's fine. It's your fault because you're away from home so often, leaving me all alone without anyone. It's not my fault. That's still no excuse. Why the hell would you blame Dad, who works so hard for your sake, eh? I mean, more to the point, how do you come up with the money to pay for all the dates, eh? Don't tell me. Is this all you have in your account? But you can't pay for anything like those dates. You can't be. 
You cannot be in debt, can you? Just a little. Truly, just a small amount, and your retirement bonds will quickly make up for it. Enough! I've worked so hard for so long. Why the frick do I have to pay back the debt you owe to pay for another young man? I can't do it with you no more. Work for yourself and do something about it. No, I'm terribly sorry. Such a shameful sight to see, I know. Let us adjourn for today, and arrange for another time to properly celebrate an occasion. I think we ought to go home too. I, I agree, young man. I'm sorry, my dears. But we'll excuse ourselves. Helen, shall we? Drake, son, help me! It's not my fault, right? Right? I'm so ashamed. No, please! Wait! I apologize! Helen, dear, please! Please don't abandon me! This seed of discord you sowed yourself. You do something about it. See ya! Ah. After this, my parents-in-law divorced. The total debt seems to amount to $28,000. And Mrs. Smith, now in her 60s, had to go back to work for the first time in 10 years to repay all of it. She called her ex-husband countless times, begging for help. But she was so persistent that he refused the calls, and ultimately blocked her. Now she lives in an outhouse without a bathtub or toilet, with the nearest washing machine a five minute walk away. She also seems to be working part time as hard as she can. And one year later... Cheers! Helen, here's to another year of happiness. Indeed, Drake, honey. Finally, we can celebrate our anniversary, eh? That's true. Uh, hold up, you aren't gonna drink? <laughs> Actually, in my belly now, a new life is growing. From now on, let's enjoy life as a family of three. Trouble Busters.